Welcome to the Permaflow Gutter Protection Installation Video Series, Video 8, Quick Retro Inside Corner Fabrication. Please collect the following materials for this activity. A battery-operated electric drill, a 1 quarter inch hex bit magnetic, a flat-bladed screwdriver. The included self-piercing screws a speed square, a set of pliers, and one sharp set of tin snips. Use a speed square to mark a triangular section of permaflow. Using a speed square will ensure that you get the proper angle for the inside corner fabrication every time. Begin by cutting through permaflow, but stopping at the back wall. Cut using the standard procedures you've learned. Begin at the front hem, then cut the dam wall, but instead of going to the back wall, continue along from the dam wall and cut the material. It is very important you do not cut the back wall, as it will be necessary later on in this part of the installation. Make a diagonal cut starting 4.5 inches to the right of your straight cut towards the back wall. We are cutting at a 45 degree angle to create a right triangle. Again, stop cutting at the back wall as this will become your hinge when you fabricate your corner. Use the same standard cutting procedures beginning with the front hem, then cut the dam wall, then continue on until you are able to pull out a triangle-shaped section of permaflow. Using a pair of pliers, clean up any sharp edges at the apex of your cut. It is important that we clean up any sharp edges because anybody who would be cleaning the gutter covers later on could cut themselves if leave shards of metal behind. Using your tin snips, Notch out a small section of the dam wall on the right side of the cutout. This will help permaflow rest flat on itself when you bend the two pieces together. Now bend the material at the back wall so the two pieces overlap forming a 90 degree angle. Notice how the cutout allows permaflow to rest flat upon itself. Place your fabricated corner on the gutter and securely fasten with the included screws. It is recommended to put screws immediately to the right and left of where permaflow meet in the corner. Lastly, put one more screw at the joint for added stability. Remember to use the screwdriver trick for added stability when fastening this screw. Your finished product should look neat and clean. Notice how everything looks very nice and there are no sharp edges. This concludes the retro inside corner fabrication tutorial for permaflow gutter protection. Look for more videos with tips, tricks, and hints for installing permaflow gutter protection.